What's up? It's George the Fragrance Press. Compliments 2019, most complimented. Let's just get straight into it. I'm trying to take tips from Mr. Miami Cuddles. He's just like, don't give me the intro, kid. Don't give me the intro. Don't try to sell me. Just go straight into the fragrances. And Louis, you do know what you're talking about, mate. So let's just get immediately into it. Number 10 is from the house of Maison Francis Cojan. This is Aqua Universalis uh, Forte. I always get a few compliments from this. I think that's because it's, you know, very thick juice. It's um, very citrusy, very fresh, very clean. And people can just really enjoy it on you, you know, and people have really enjoyed it on me. And every now and then, I mean, I've only had this since 2017, but in the past two years, yeah, if I wear it, people will notice it, people will enjoy it. And it's because it's, you know, it's strong, it's good, it's versatile, and it's very refreshing. So that would be my number 10. Number nine is a little bit of a blast from the past. This is One Million by Paco Rabanne. Like I've mentioned many times this year, this gets a very nostalgic reaction whenever you wear it. People will usually be able to name it. People will say, oh, it's One Million by Paco Rabanne. People will be able to recognize it. People will be excited about the fact that it's it, that I'm wearing this. And, you know, it's funny. People who know that I'm really into fragrance have a sort of an appreciation that I wear one million, if you know what I mean. They're like, oh, I, you're really into fragrances and you still wear one million? Yeah, of course I do. It's great, it's fantastic, it's cinnamony, it's warm, it's pleasant, and it will always, it will always get you attention. And now, more than ever, I think this is quite a relevant fragrance because it's one of the more balanced, sweeter fragrances in the fragrance world. Number eight is just gonna piss a load of people off. It's, but, Listen, this is not, you already know what it is. It's not a, um, this is not my best releases of 2019. This isn't my opinion. This is literally just on the amount of compliments that I got this year. This is Office for Men. Did I get compliments on Office for Men? You bet I did. But it's built to do that. Jeremy hired Alberto Morales and said, you've made Aqua de Gio, you've made CK1, give me that. Give me a fragrance that will be mass appealing and that will get me compliments. And whenever I, well, not every time I wore this, but this fragrance has such a consistent batting average when it comes to wearing it and getting compliments. If I wear this and I'm out and about, especially if the weather is warmer and all that good stuff, then yes, I've had some lovely comments about this. I've had some people ask me what I'm wearing, mostly women. Men aren't that bothered, but Jeremy had a vision for this fragrance and he wanted it to get positive attention. And yes, it definitely worked. And you know, the price is too high. I do feel the price is too high. And if you can get it a lower price than the retail, then of course I'd recommend it. But hey, if you are if you just clicked onto this video because you want compliments and you don't really care about anything else, which I fully understand, you know, office is something that is on the co that, that has to be talked about. Office is a thing that's definitely in that conversation. Number seven, again, another overpriced fragrance, but this absolutely got me compliments in the summer. This was my most worn fragrance of 2019 because it's just so easy. If nothing else, if you can just get a decant of this, this is a, as I call it, the Italian Aventus. This is a fragrance that has an Aventus style DNA, but it's not a clone because it also has a uh, real Aqua de Palma like feel. Um, when doing research into this, I recognized that the man who perfumed this, Enzo, is very into, he, he's been almost indoctrinated to Italian style of perfumery, which is of course Neroli and clean and cleanly. So and this has actually got me a, a staggering amount of compliments, if I'm honest, this year. And it's just been fantastic. It's absolutely been phenomenal. Um, but the price point is difficult. It's a very expensive fragrance. It's uh, high priced for the amount of performance that it gets. And so, you know, a word of warning with that. But yeah, this has been um, been quite something special this year, to be completely honest, compliments wise. And just in general, it's been one of my favorites um, to wear this year because it's just a really, really pleasant and easy to wear fragrance. Number six. In fact, I even have a witness who can vouch for me that this gets me quite a few compliments. This is Pure Malt, Angel Men Pure Malt, which of course I did a review in Edinburgh, Scotland about this and went around the whiskey uh, shops and the, the whiskey um, uh, bars and all that kind of stuff. A really fun review, one of my favorite reviews I've done this year because I love it so much. 
But I got compliments when I went to visit Fragmental with some of the videos that we've been doing. I went to visit him in New York, we went out, and I wore this and I got compliments from about four people, a group of four people. And um, I think even Chris did, I think he was wearing Pure Malt as well. So it did really well. When I went to Edinburgh this got me a lot of comments and compliments, uh, especially when I kind of gave permission for people to give me comments because I people were like, oh, what are you doing here? I said, I'm doing a fragrance review. And they were like, you know what, I was gonna, I was gonna say, you have a real, you smell really good, what is that? It's warming, it's pleasant, it's, it's not pleasant actually, that's too safe of a word. It's commanding, it's a very commanding fragrance and it's just so enjoyable around people and it can really command attention and when it's cold and it's wet like it is of course in Edinburgh, Scotland nearly every day of the year, it really complements that vibe. And so if you're in a climate where it's really hot and it's really warm, like where I'm going to in January, which is Las Vegas, this isn't going to work. But if you live in the Nordic countries, if you live where there's, there's colder weather or there's um, at least very cool weather, then pure malt is always going to get you a decent amount of attention, a good amount of attention, because it just works with that atmosphere incredibly well. Fantastic fragrance. Number five is from the house of Rainier. This is, of course, Kisses Rain. It's always worked on me, it's always got me attention. Um, speaking of Mr. Miami Cuddles, um, you can subscribe to him, I've put a description down below. He's uh, just a fantastic fragrance YouTuber. He was saying that he finds it a bit too feminine and, and I've always um, tried to say that, yes it is, it, it, I cannot shy away from the fact that this can lean a little bit feminine, it's a unisex fragrance. But for somebody like me, who's a bit of a, a sensitive soul and um, you know who isn't afraid to, just be sensitive and have a bit more of a feminine side, as you can tell by this huge beard. Um, you know, people really enjoy it on me. It works very well with my personality. But if you're kind of a hard-nosed, kind of masculine type character, then this may not necessarily be for you. But if you are somebody who can be a little bit flamboyant, a little bit more sensitive, whatever, this is always gonna work and this is always gonna get you compliments as it does for me. You can buy Kisses Rain, one of the best fragrances that I've ever smelt when it comes to autumn and fall fragrances. It was my number one this year. The uh, discount code is still available on Rainier's website. You just have to apply TFA15 when you're on the loading page and you can see all of the different fragrances. That is applying to any of the Rainier fragrances right now. You will get 15% off. That code is still available for those of you who are interested in purchasing either Kisses Rain or any of the Rainier fragrances. Number four, going from Rainier to this, perfect. I'm, I'm hearing so much about Christine Dior at the moment. None of this is confirmed, what I'm about to say. I'm just hearing this from different people and from different comments. None of this is confirmed, they're all rumors. I'm hearing that from people that Feb Delish use is being discontinued. I doubt that, to be honest, but I don't know, and I'm hearing that Jorm is being going to be reformulated. I think that's a little bit more likely, but I don't know. But Jorm is an incredible fragrance. It is actually my most complimented fragrance of all time, if you toss up all of the experiences that I've had with Jorm. But it's, and it continues this year. I've worn it, and people have just always, they, they always say, oh, you smell great, you smell great. I don't know what it is with this fragrance in me, and I, I hope that if it is being reformulated, it doesn't change so much, because me and your arm have such an insane chemistry together. This is not for everybody. Um, some, some people, it just smells like makeup and lipstick, but with me, it just becomes a very sexy, uh, modern, masculine feminine type fragrance that just absolutely works and always 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 gets me attention as you can see i've worn quite a bit there and this year has been no different with dior on it's gotten me a ton of positive attention number three though that is not number one number three is Lenoir de Lomme Le Parfum, and that's because I've just started wearing it a lot more, I think, and it's pleasant, and it's chocolatey, and it's clean, and it's great, and very sexy, and very playful, and very, very endearing, and, and lovely, and yeah, it's incredible. It's just something that I feel that any, any man could really wear. It has a universal appeal. It's great on nights out. It's great even sometimes casually, although this is quite playful, as I say, so... 
Um, if you're doing like a, maybe an important or more serious event, this may not necessarily work. It could actually come across a little bit juvenile. But mostly, on the whole, this could be great for basically any man at any given time. And it smells really bloody good and sexy and fun. And I don't know, there's not really much more to be said when it's so good and it's so straightforwardly good you don't really have to go on about it because it just is what it is and this has always been a fantastic fragrance for me but it's really really shone in the compliment department um, this year okay we're getting to the no number two and number one and at this point we're at the stage where i basically wear this anytime and I'm just getting attention, I'm just getting compliments. And I've had a few people with this fragrance say to me, what are you wearing, I wanna buy that. And this fragrance is really unassuming. This fragrance is not something that I, I mean, I like it, I really enjoy it, and I do wear it a lot, you know, usually just casually, and in the springtime and in the summertime, I'm just like, oh, you know, I'll just wear this, and that'll be that, and I don't really put too much thought in it. But I have had five people this year ask me what am I wearing what am I wearing and that's a big thing that's a big um, question and that is is I do like I do like I really do like this fragrance but it's not something that I you know write home about it's boss bottle tonic and again it's it's really simple it's just very simple very nice very easy to wear very pleasant and, you know, has the citrusiness, has the freshness, reasonably priced, not all that interesting, not all that exciting, but you just put it all together and the, and the balance is phenomenal. You put all of those elements together and people love it. People really, really love this on me and people that, I think that I've sold probably two bottles. I've had two people, one was a couple and um, the woman was like, wow, what are you wearing? I want it's always weird when I get comments like this. I love what you're wearing. I want my boyfriend to smell like that. Okay, well, uh, it's Boss Ball Tonic. I hope that couple isn't watching. Um, but yeah, it's it's been phenomenal. A phenomenal year for Boss Ball Tonic with me. And number one, it's gonna piss so many people off. It's not date. it's not date. It's not date. It's, um, yeah. I just feel so secure with this fragrance. It's just, if I was to suddenly, if all my fragrances were to disappear, um, this would be the, the first designer I'd probably get immediately, um, apart from maybe Dior on. But if I need, if it was like, oh God, I need a fragrance to just smell good and I don't even have to worry about it, I don't even have to think about it, I will always usually go for this fragrance. I have had Tons of comments, tons of compliments, this year in particular. And in the summer, when I wore this, I had friends saying, oh wow, that smells really good, that smells fantastic, what is that? You know, I've, I've had that, and it's on a consistent basis. And it, I've gone from like, wow, this fragrance really has an effect on people, to yeah, of course it does. It's just been like, yeah, of course it, you know, that's how it, that's how it is. It's a Laurent Sport by Chanel. It's just, it's just everything that you need, really. It's citrusy, it's creamy, it's very sexy, very enticing, very attractive, it's magnetic. And on me, it just does really well. And I wouldn't classify myself as maybe the stereotypical person to be wearing something like this. I do fare better personality-wise with something like Dior Armour or Kisses Rain. But hey, a good fragrance is a good fragrance. And this has got a huge universal appeal. It's got a massive mass appeal. It's it's a Laurent Sport and it does amazing. And this has easily been my, uh, well, I, actually I wouldn't say easily. That's not fair to Boss Bottle Tonic, which has also done really well. But between these two, a Laurent Sport has definitely hit it at the post. There you have it. These were my most complimented fragrances of 2019. Hope that you've had a great 2019. Please tell me in the comments what got you the biggest and the most compliments 
this year. Anyway, thanks so much. I'm uploading every single day until January 1st. Then I'm taking a little bit of a hiatus because I'm going to Las Vegas to live with Timmy. I'm going to be helping him with his uh, casino YouTube company for a period of time. Then I'll be back in mid-February. But until then, I'm pretty much uploading every single day until January 1st. So subscribe, like, leave a lovely comment on the Fragrance Express. I'm out.